Now there's a few ways to review the images on screen. First, you can click your cursor and click on any of these images here and review them. I have my clip here, it loaded. If I get rid of the cursor, I can scroll back and forth through that Cine review. I can take a measurement on it, choose IMT, just show the IMT real quick. Well, this isn't a good image for it, but <laughs> to do the IMT, you'll just do that and it's going to identify the IMT and, and take your measurement for you. I'm going to go back to the cursor. I can select another image and scroll through that, uh, take a portion of the clip and resave it and whatnot. Now, if you want to go back and review this current patient in a different way and add or delete the images. Well, first you can delete images from this screen. I can click here and there's a menu over here and click on and I can delete or send it. So if I just want to delete that image, I can go ahead and say, yep. And that image is deleted. Now, if I want to see all the images, I'm going to click this archive button here. And here I can view all of the images on there. I can export them, I can view my report, I can delete images from here by clicking delete. I can take a larger view of them. Now if I want to see a previous patient, I can click to archive and see previous exams that I've done. And I get the thumbnails here to see if that's the one that I want to review. And I can send this entire exam to DICOM or a USB. And I'll get to that in just a moment. I'm going to start by plugging in my USB stick. And at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and connect it to a network. So now that I've connected it to the network and a USB stick, I'm going to show how to send both. I'm going to choose this current patient, the one that I'm doing here, and I'm going to go ahead and click well, first I can review the report and what you want to do, but I'm going to click Send Exam. It's going to give me a couple options here. U-Disk for that USB stick, and I'll do that first. I'm going to select JPEG and Cine Transform to AVI. These are all various formats for the PC. DCM is your DICOM. I'm just going to put it under that information. You can also choose for it to delete the exam once it's sent. But I'm just going to go ahead for a PC format with AVI and JPEG got the U-Disk, and I'm going to go ahead and click Export. Shows the progress, it's converting the images and saving it to the USB stick. Now if I want to export that to DICOM, I can click Send Exam, and I'll show the DICOM setup here in a minute, but I can choose my DICOM storage, and there's my DICOM server. I'll click Export, and it shows that it's in the queue. So where's my queue? Like I said, I showed you before. First, it shows here that I am connected to the network. There's no longer an X there. And same thing with the USB. If I want to eject the USB, I'm going to go ahead, remove USB disk safely, and there'll be a little X that appears. But my task manager, this is showing the images I'm sending over the DICOM network. It's telling you that it's running. First, it has to convert the image to the DICOM format then it will send it over the network. So this says the first one's over there, and so it is set up on the DICOM server. The DICOM server has said, okay, I received it. If I want to go ahead and remove that, I can clear it. I can terminate the task by clicking terminate, saying I don't want to send that. Now it's going to send the next one. And if I want to retry, say that the network went down or whatever, it's going to show that it failed. I can go ahead and say, no, you know what? I do want to send that. And then it'll go ahead and send that over the network. I can just get out of that by clicking OK. So, The other item is when you are looking at these patients, if you are storing to USB, it's a good idea to go ahead and save that and from this screen review the report and go ahead and save it to the USB stick and make sure that it stayed in the right place. Also from this screen we can not just view the thumbnails of that previous exam, we can go ahead and click review. And from here, it opens that patient back up. I can edit the exam. And here I can take a look at those images in full screen again.
I can play and pause the cine, scroll through. Again, I'll hit the cursor and I can scroll back through. I can also delete the images from here. If I didn't like that image, I can go ahead and click delete. I can just click archive to go back to the archive and I'm back here at this screen with this exam. Now another item, another way to get to that archive screen is to press that patient button. And up here you can search the archive and you're back at this where you can choose this patient then create a new exam for that patient. So it has the information, you can enter, enter your study description, click OK, and then it'll go ahead and start a new exam under that patient. You could also review the images as shown in the exact same way before. That's just a different way of getting to that screen.